just as I predicted. Though to say that may be too pessimistic. Darby was not the yet unfound friend I seek. He was not the friend I could trust from the bottom of my heart. His avarice is too profound. From my standpoint, I have a very favourable impression of that greed. It may be an indispensable talent for a gambler, but his is not a personality that can go to heaven. I wonder if one really exists. Such a yet unfound friend. If such a pure human exists in this world. No. It's possible that I have already met him, but I just haven't realized it yet. If I think about it that way, I can't say that no one springs to mind, though there is still no name I can write here with confidence. Hmm. Then perhaps I will take that sort of approach. If this comes to a standstill as well, then I will need to make changes, or I would expect I would start to feel depressed. However, it was not a completely wasted endeavour. As I expected, getting in contact with Darby did yield good results. I, of course, was able to make him a subordinate, but his stand ability became a hint. The name of his stand is Osiris. It is not an allusion to a tarot card like my The World or Enya's Justice. Rather, like Undul's Geb, his stand alludes to one of the nine glorious Egyptian gods. The stand Osiris has no power. To be perfectly blunt, in hand-to-hand -hand combat I would not even need to use the world. I could kill him with just my normal muscle strength. Or rather, with my vampire muscle strength. But by how he uses his stand, even I, Dio, may not be able to overpower him. That is because Darby's Osiris does not have power or speed, but instead possesses a special ability. His stand is able to manipulate souls. It is able to extract souls from the body of those that lose to him in gambles. It should go without saying that this is an incredible ability. Because he is a gambler, after he's extracted the soul, it becomes a chip. Honestly, it seems like such an unnecessary act, but I never even imagined there would be a stand that could allow you to touch a soul. And something else that surprised me. It seems he has a little brother whom also is the master of a soul-manipulating stand. It also seems that their stands were not the result of the bow and arrow, and instead they were born as stand users. So perhaps bloodlines have some influence. Also, I need to investigate it, but for now I'll say their souls. With that stand, it may be possible to assemble thirty-six cells. Over thirty-six cells that have committed heinous sins are needed in order to go to heaven. I will go into detail later on why such a concrete number of over thirty-six. If you were to ask why the souls need to have committed heinous sins, it is because the souls of sinners have a mighty power. Just as I learned one hundred years ago that the more fiendish a criminal I found, the stronger a zombie they became, the souls of sins hold great power. I've hypothesized that it is likely the power of wishing to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. The feeling, I want to be happy, likely raises the stage a soul is in. The other day, a boy I won over as a subordinate, Noriaki Kakuin had stated a theory that the one who loses a conflict is the one that is evil. But I feel that adversely. Because someone is evil, because someone has a wicked soul, that they have a greater desire for victory. It means that wanting to go to heaven, to go to heaven and be happy, they desire to be a true victor. 
Anyhow, with that, I've moved forward somewhat. I've faced heaven and moved forward. What is now crucial is to make certain that no one finds out about this. Enya and her followers, of course, but the Darby brothers as well. <laughs>